As a pioneer in light bulb processing, Recycle Technologies has processed millions of fluorescent bulbs over the last 25 years. This requires a special processing machine, and there are fewer than 30 of them in the United States. Processing recycled bulbs is necessary for the health of our planet. So let's take two minutes to take a look at how that's done. The bulbs are placed on a conveyor belt and move through two different drums to break the glass into small uniform pieces. The materials then go to a feed belt, which transfers all materials to a spinning trommel chamber. The trommel separates the mercury powder, glass, and aluminum end caps. The glass is sorted and collected in a super sack and the aluminum end caps are diverted to a large container. Any mercury powder that falls through the trommel is collected for further processing. Most importantly, the machine is a negative air pressure system, so all mercury vapor is continuously sucked into a baghouse filter system for containment. We test the air quality three times a day to ensure our system is functioning properly because keeping the mercury contained and out of the air is of the utmost importance. We are stringently and frequently inspected and monitored by various agencies, including the EPA, MPCA, DNR, and state, county, and independent auditors. Records of our inspections are always available upon request. Safety and quality matter to us because recycling done wrong isn't really recycling at all. Once we've sorted the materials, they move on to our pre-approved downstream vendors. The aluminum end caps are recycled the way you would a pop or soup can, and the glass is sent to a downstream vendor to be repurposed. The mercury powder, the stuff that makes these bulbs so tricky to dispose of, is sent to a retort facility for reprocessing. When we say the powder is sent for retort, what we mean is the powder is heated up to a temperature that causes the mercury found in the powder to turn into a gas. It moves through a tube and recondenses as liquid mercury at the other end. That liquid mercury is then either safely stored or sold to approved buyers for reuse in other industries like science or education. By finding ways to recycle or reuse all materials in each light bulb, we are able to follow through on our zero landfill pledge. If you're wondering what happens to those bulbs that don't contain mercury, like an LED, check our website, recycletechnologies.com, for a video on how we are always working to responsibly recycle the ever-evolving technology used by businesses and consumers alike.